Hello <clears throat> and welcome. I'm the awful chef, so you pee. I'm hungry, so I'd better cook something. So today, crepes. Yeah, I was gonna do a dish substituting flour tortillas for crepes. But then when I talked it over with my primary audience, the woman I cook for, she said, oh, but crepes are so nice. Many years ago, I worked for a company called Louis Vuitton. And, oh, that's getting very nice and hot. And I was exceptionally impressed with the pragmatism and practicality of my co-workers from across the water. So, um, yeah. To them, this is nothing. To us, it's all sorts of fancy. But trust me, it's really basic stuff. Crepe batter, you can find the recipe online. The important thing is to let it rest. Air bubbles are death to crepes. And here we have a crepe batter made more than an hour and a half ago and allowed to rest. It is basically nothing more than a thin pancake batter. So, as with pancakes, the first one, of course, will be a waste. So here we go, pancake batter in a pan that's too hot. Yippee! Oh look, it's the state of Mississippi. So you can actually spread out the dough if it cooks too quickly, or pardon me, the batter. But the first one's always going to be a gimme. And today is no exception to that. There is my delightfully misshapen crepe. So I've turned down the pan, pardon me, turned down the heat, removed the pan from the heat, and kept things moving. And as stated, the first one is a waste. Technically, you are supposed to flip your crepes, but given the um, sorry state of the first one, there is no point in bothering with it. So the pan is cooler and now properly greased since all the excess grease went into the first one. So the question is, how do I get the batter in? in the right amount to make a very thin crepe and have everything go properly. Well, you'll notice we are off the burner. The batter has been applied in a circular pattern this time. And there we have the beginnings. Oh my heavens, there's oil on the stove. Yes, you have to get the oil off your electric stove before it catches fire. So, bam. Oil underneath the pan, that's where it came from. Ah, that wasn't nerve-wracking for a moment. Yes, things do go wrong in every kitchen. Okay, we have a much more crepe-shaped crepe. Returning the heat. 
So, while that cooks, let's take a look. You can see the texture of the batter itself. Ooh, it's Star Trek. It's going to suck my spine or whatever. Produces a very flexible, yes, pancake. That's from the eggs inside. Mm. Yep, that's a crepe. And I can tell you that given the size of my pan, I was not using enough batter. Mm. Yes, our local store sells crepes, but they're much too sweet. So, big question. How much time am I going to make my YouTube audience spend watching me flip pancakes. Let's just do this one and then I'll let you go. Okay. So between the non-stick pan and the um, oil in the bottom you can literally hear it sliding around in there. Now if I were the perfect chef, which I'm not, I would flip this without any stress. Aha! So there we have the slightly off kilter crepe. So I'm the awful chef. Please remember to subscribe, and I will do a better job of showing you how not to make crepes next time. Thank you. Goodbye.